Well, spring is here and the warmer months are on their way. Many of us are excited to get outdoors and enjoy the warmer temperatures. Some can't forget about the mosquito bites they dealt with last year. While county crews address the problem in areas like Wetlands Park here, some experts weigh in on if more can be done. From up above in the sky, facing straight at it right now. This Clark County drone is being used to bite mosquitoes. This one, so we'll fly that one back and spray all that. Vector control officer Nathaniel Kroos is the licensed drone pilot. We're trying to do a preemptive strike on the mosquitoes. We have six different species of mosquitoes in this area. Christopher Bramley is the vector control supervisor. The drone is only a few years old. The county is now using it to spray pesticides over county waterways, such as Wetlands Park and even the Colorado River, for flies. And there's the pond. He says only environmentally safe and sound larvicides are used. We have a mosquito breeding season that starts like now and then through our monsoon season we have floodwater mosquitoes. So we have multiple types of species of mosquitoes. We have noticed mosquitoes for sure. In recent years and more specifically 2024, they hurt, they're ugly. Many of you reported more severe mosquito bites and the county had a spike in calls. The mosquito issue has grown. An invasive type of mosquito called the Aedes aegypti is causing a lot of frustration for a tiny bug as it's newer to Las Vegas and only needs a bottle cap of water to breed. I stopped by UNLV to talk to mosquito expert Louisa Messenger. She is concerned about the spread of the mosquito and the spread of disease. So last year was a really interesting year. We actually set some of the records for the most West Nile in the U.S. Southwest. And in the end, we had close to 26 human cases, many of which were neuroinvasive. This specific mosquito first popped up in Las Vegas in 2017. Messenger shared these maps. Look at the difference from 2025 to 2030. The more highlighted areas show where they expect it to spread to, a total of 75 zip codes. So what do you think needs to be done? There needs to be a conversation about abatement, about control. There are ways we can go. David Brown is sounding the alarm too. He is a special project coordinator for the American Mosquito Control Association and past director of a mosquito abatement district in Sacramento, California. With your experience, what could be done? Well, I think there needs to be the development of an integrated mosquito management district. Brown and Messenger say in coming months, they plan to release a survey to see if residents are interested in more being done and we'll share that with lawmakers. We need to get the general public involved because that's who the county commissioners or the elected officials are gonna to listen to. We can always do more. You know, those kinds of decisions are made above my pay grade. Bramley says their staff of five does what it can for Clark County, but we can all do our part to help limit the standing water. We're never gonna get rid of them, but we can maybe suppress them. And both county crews and the experts say everybody needs to be doing their part. That means dumping any standing water in your yard, especially during the warmer months. Reporting at Woodlands Park, I'm Jim Muller.